Time Trial Day, Stage 2 of the UAE Tour, and a short course of just over 13 kilometres to play with. Destination, the Al Hudariyat Sports Facility. Well, you can do all kinds of things here, but one of which is a road course that they've built so that you keep your legs in whatever the weather. Well, it's usually sunny, and so it turned out to be today as well. Gone the 30 Celsius temperatures, down to about 25, and indeed the winds that wreak havoc yesterday, meaning a peppering of specialist time trialists throughout the start list today. And we had some pretty good time trialists going off early, and Mikko Bjerg was one of those. Great time for him in the end, of 14 minutes and 17. And in hot pursuit, 12th off the ramp, was Stefan Bissiger, the Swiss, who's referred to in glowing terms back home as the new Fabian Cancellara. So what times would be set? Well, that 14.17 for uh, Mikkel Bjerg with an average speed of 54.6 kilometres per hour looked pretty good. Minutemen were being caught. Andre Greipel passed by uh, Bissiger out on the course. And his finish time of a 14.10 made us start to wonder about uh, even world records for average pace out there. 55 kilometres per hour. Could we be nudging into the 56s and beyond with Pippo Garner later? Well, for that, we'd have to wait. Luis Leon Sanchez proving that experience counts for an awful lot when you're time trialling. The veteran setting a blistering pace out there, showing that he's come out of the winter very, very good indeed. Indeed, the likes of Vincenzo Nibali were to come later and also provide some entertainment. Luis Leon, though, really dialing back the clock. Superb run by him. Third at that point with a 54 kilometres per hour average. And then this from Tiberi. Very strange technical failure just before the line. Still good enough for 11th place at that moment. Still waiting for a technical roundup of exactly what went wrong. It seemed to be bike rather than man that was at fault, but thankfully he was OK. And of course they can rebuild the bike. Pippo Garner was the man that everyone was waiting for. And as he came off the start ramp, he looked efficient from the very start. His riding position is one to die for as far as time trialists are concerned. An entirely flat back, doesn't offer much wind resistance. And indeed the field itself were to fall under his charms. Amazing style he has. He doesn't wear the rainbow stripes for nothing. Well, the man in front of him, not a bad time trialist in his own right, Vicenzo Nibali. And he, of course, wanting to maintain the honour of finishing in front of Garner, which he did, so he wasn't to be caught. But Garner's time, 13.56, with an average pace of 55.981 kilometres per hour. Absolutely remarkable. Well, that was the battle for the day, and Garner's time was not going to get beaten, but how close would those who are gunning for the general classification get to that marker? It was a big question. Well, to be in with a chance of the title, you had to be in the right place on stage one. The crosswinds, of course, put paid to all bar 26 of the riders in the field. And this man, Tele Pogaccia, determined to make his mark. Trailing Yao Almeida by just one second in the general classification coming into today. A real toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, albeit separated, of course, by that minute off the start ramp, would ensue between the pair of them. Who would it be then that would take the red jersey, which incidentally was being sported by Decker, David Decker, with that honour on the day because Matthew van der Poel, unfortunately, having to withdraw along with the rest of his team after a positive Covid test for one of their party. Tele Pogaccio was setting the benchmark or close to it amongst the GC men out front. He had a magnificent split time. Yawa Media just a little less. So who would it be at the line? Pogaccio was favourite to snatch it with an eight second advantage over Almeida at the break. Surely he had to carry it to the line. Fourth place on the day for Tali Pocaccia, proving that he doesn't just need mountains in a time trial to produce a stellar performance. Almeida coming to the line after a spirited effort yesterday. He will own the points jersey at the end of today. So Pippo Garner took the day's time trial, but look at that finish from Tali Pocaccia and Yao Almeida, still very close together by the line today. Pocaccia takes the overall lead, but a real battle will ensue. The rainbow stripes of Ghana mean that he's a pretty good time trialist and today he proved once again just how amazing he is at the discipline. This is what it looks like overall. 
With Tali Pocaccia and Almeida about to do battle in the mountains tomorrow as we head to Jabal Hafit. Others very much in the frame, but they were so yesterday as well. The red jersey belongs to today, but what about tomorrow? This is what we have in store. Stage three, a looping stage, back and out through town, and then to take on Jabal Hafit itself. So a flat stage, crosswinds may well play a part, but that climb could be definitive. Looking forward to it.